video, I want to show you this super cool AI zoom transition that you guys can easily create in Final Cut Pro. If you guys could hit the like button and subscribe, that would be awesome. So if you select both of your clips and press P on the keyboard, this will bring up the position tool. And what you can do from here is just click and drag upwards. You can, you know, move them around without the magnetic timeline. Hold option on the second clip, click and drag as you're holding down option. And this will duplicate the clip. And then you're going to select the top clip here and you're going to go over to the effects and then you're going to go down to the M Roto AI plugin. This is a plugin by Motion VFX, so it's our sponsor for today's video. So shout outs to them for sponsoring this video. A little bit more on them in just a little bit. If you guys want to use this one, I will also have it linked in the description. You don't have to use this. You can mask it out yourself if you want to, but I think using the M Roto AI plugin just makes masking out and rotoscoping so much easier. So I just click and drag that onto our clip. And what you want to do now is drag the playhead at the beginning of our clip here, select the clip and then select the area that you want to mask out. So I'm going to click and drag and you can see it's painting over it. I kind of messed up at the top, but uh, if you do kind of mess up like right here, all you got to do is hold option and click and drag to remove the area and it does a fantastic job of knowing what to cut out and what to keep so holding option and painting over the areas that i don't want in the mask perfect so once you have everything shaded in blue just go over to this toolbar here so click on the tracker button and because we are at the beginning of this clip we're going to track forwards so click on the track forwards button and a new window should appear in this case it didn't show up just because of the windows i have with my recording software now if i go ahead and push play you have this super cool masked out screen. So I'm going to go and change the output right now to mass video so I can see what's happening. And if you temporarily disable the bottom clip, it's going to look like this. So only the area that we've selected is masked out. So re-enable the bottom clip, press V on the keyboard. I'm going to select the top clip now and I'm going to invert the mask. So we're going to make sure invert mask is checked. So now if I disable the bottom clip, you're going to see it's in black and that's what you want your clip to look like. So everything else but the screen is now masked so you can see through this area that we've tracked okay so now you can see the edges have a little bit of a gap so you can easily fix that by going over to shrink and expand and dragging the slider to the left to fill in that area outwards so that looks pretty good and the moment that i want the clip to begin the next clip is where we want to trim so go to the end of this clip i want it to kind of end about here so two-thirds of the clip so click and drag the end of that clip inwards to make it shorter. Now you're gonna drag the bottom clip, the beginning of it, and drag it towards the end. So now if I go back and push play, it should play through. So it shouldn't jump any frames at all if you did this correctly. So if I push play, it'll look like this. So what we're gonna do now is click on this clip here and hold option and drag upwards to duplicate the clip. The bottom clip is the one with the invert mask here. So we're gonna actually turn that off so we can see the mask underneath. So this is our main clip. Make sure invert mask is unchecked. And the top clip, we wanna have invert mask selected. So go ahead and select the bottom clip and go over to crop. I like to move the playhead at the beginning just so I can see everything nicely. And you're gonna go back to the Ken Burns. Make sure that the start here, this green box is outside of our mask, but it's also inside of our red box outside here. Don't move the, the uh, end box because that can change the position of our overall video. So click on one of the corners for the green box. It should just, you know, make it smaller and then just drag it outwards. It can be anywhere. Just make sure it's inside of the red box. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on done. And now it should look something like this if I push play. But now we want to animate the top part. OK, so do the same thing. Go to crop for the top clip and go over to Ken Burns. So the green box is going to be inside of our mask, which is this screen here. So make it smaller than the mask. And then the, again, the red box is just exactly how it is. So don't change that. Then click done. And now if I go back and push play, it should just kind of start big and finish off with the following video. So then go over to the effects. We're going to add a blur to make this look a lot smoother and go to the directional blur and add that onto the top clip, which is the big mask and add that to the bottom clip so that it looks a lot smoother. Now what I'm going to do is just click and drag these two clips and move them over to the clip before it, which is this first clip. And we're going to drag this clip right next to it. So it's like this. So now it should look something like this. Right. So the clip beneath is being uh, 
you can see the clip beneath our clip. But right now, nothing's happening to that bottom clip. It's not moving with our masks. So you can easily fix that. So I like to start this in about here just so that parts of the edge don't you won't be able to see the black edges when you're zooming in in this case so make your cut here command b and select this clip here then go over to crop and you're going to go to ken burns we're going to leave the green box exactly where it's at but we're going to drag the red box we're going to make this bigger so we're going to start this off kind of big and end the original size so click done so now it should look something like this if i push play it's kind of zooming out with our clip here. Now you can change the amount of speed that it's going just by, if you zoom out a little bit and dragging this red box out further, this will create a more dramatic zoom effect. At this point, we can add a really cool effect to this overall clip. And that's gonna be from the Motion VFX M extensions. So if I go over here, you can get the M extension, which is part of the Design Studio. It's Black Weeks over at Motion VFX, where you can save big on their editing packs. As I mentioned earlier, you can get all the awesome overlays and effects with the Design Studio and Cine Studio subscriptions for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Premiere Pro. If you're a creative like me, you know time is of the essence and a fast workflow is what we need. And right now, you can get 30% off when you buy any two subscriptions. And when you do, you'll receive their brand new M-Type Doodle Collection completely for free. If you would like to learn more, I will have all the details in the description. Now back to the video. And a new window will appear showing you the M extension. The cool thing about this M extension add-on for Final Cut Pro is I can instantly find effects and just drag them directly into the timeline, which is part of the design studio. For the sake of this video, I just want to show you how to add these really cool effects. I've already have them saved. So I'm going to go where it says the M collections. I'm going to go to my favorites because I've uh, favorited these effects. If you click on one of them, it will show you what the effect is so you have this super cool artistic overlay effect it's under the music video and paper themes if you want to find it it works for vertical and horizontal aspect ratios it's part of this collection here the m restyle 2 so if you want to download this entire pack you can just click the download button and it downloads really really quick so i'm going to drag this one above our clip i've already downloaded this so you can see that this is a drag and drop so you just drag this directly into your timeline let go and you're finished that's all you got to do so now i'm just going to trim this command b delete the end and i'm going to add the other one that i've also favorited which is this one it's called the film mat it's the vw53 it's under the overlay effects music video and youtube and this is part of the music video 2 collection so if i push play it looks something like this so i'm going to click and drag this in here in the timeline so you can drag them anywhere in the timeline and move them around so maybe if you don't want it part of this but you want it to be you know started around here you definitely can so now once i've added those so it's gonna look like this man this looks super super cool if you guys want to try this out link is in the description if you guys found this video helpful if you could hit the like button subscribe that would be awesome and i'll catch you guys next time